And Sunday night, Miami and LSU. Miami's three and a half, 46 and a half, the total. Money for the under. I agree with it. Burrow takes over at quarterback for LSU. And Richt has been terrific at Miami in September. 6-0, and scoring 46 points per game. Miami on a 7-1-1 and ATS run in September since 2015. On the flip side, LSU is 2-10 and ATS in September since 2015. Miami allowed less than 20 points per game on defense. And they were number three in turnovers, forced takeaways with the turnover chain, Teddy. What do you think? Rozier, the key to Miami's season is Rozier. We got off to a good start, and he was terrible down the stretch. Miami also was a different team away from home last year. Yeah, well, look, Miami won the turn, didn't lose the turnover battle any game until their last two games. Their last two games, they both lost. They failed to cover the spread. That included them. But of course, you know, you're talking about <laughs> Clemson, uh, and then the ball game. It wasn't easy, but they were minus two in turnovers in both of those contests. Their turnover margin was higher when they were covering uh, every single week. Burrow, you know, we talked about the bad QBs. Uh, from LSU, Danny Etling last year. Joe Burrow, maybe a good notch or two above that. Ohio State transfer, a guy who they have high hopes for. But the quote I keep getting from the bookmakers, I've seen it a couple different times. We're going to need LSU, but unfortunately, <laughs> we don't think much of LSU this year. I've seen bookmakers around town talking multiple times and saying basically that same concept over and over. No question, the public's going to be Miami. The books will need the Tigers on, on Sunday. Like the show? Help us keep the lights on. Please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to all the Sportsbook Review videos. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Enjoy the game.